Hello writers and readers! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over my 2023 writing goals. Now I'm sure that if you're a writer or interested reader, you've seen a lot of these videos already come out and it's quite late into January. However, I was sick at the beginning of this year and I wasn't sure kind of where my goals sat, but today I'm going to share those goals with you. This is also kind of a video evidence of what my goals were so that I can review them at the end of this year. Now if you're a writer, the dream is to be published, and for most of us anyway. Some of us just enjoy writing for ourselves or our family. I'm super excited because this year, this book my is going to be my debut novel. Uh, it's coming May 1st this year, and I'm very excited about it. So my goal, my very obvious goal, to publish one to two books this year. I'm not sure if the second one will come out late this year or early next year, but that it will be in the works to be published around that timeline. Now this novel has taken me three years to get to the point of publishing and I'm very excited because currently I'm doing line edits on it which is all the nitty-gritty making it flow really well kind of stuff which isn't my forte but thankfully I have an amazing editor so I'm looking forward to the finished product being able to hold the book in my hands and of course I will do an unboxing here on YouTube so please subscribe if you're not and that video will come hopefully a little closer to release date sorry you can probably hear my cat purring this year because it's my debut novel it has a lot of first steps so making all your accounts and ordering your first proof copy ever and all those kinds of things which I'm very excited for the whole process just excites me I do give more regular updates over on my Instagram so go follow me over there I will of course leave the link in the description box below now besides my big goals of publishing one to two books this year I also have some other uh, which would seem more minor but probably would add up in the long run goals which are to expand and train my writing muscle in certain areas that I'm lacking. As writers we always can improve, we're never going to be the perfect writer and so as I'm going into this next year I've got set aside days where I can practice writing uh, in a short story form or just with a prompt or something just to work on certain elements that I know that I'm lacking and this way I can improve as a writer not on necessarily a long-term project always, but little increments here and there that will help me in the long run. One of my main things I want to improve on specifically is character voice when it comes to my main character. I can write side characters quite well generally, however the main character sometimes over several of my novels can sound the same if it's particularly a female in first person. So I'm going to learn how to write the character's voice better and do a little bit more character development before I jump into the process. Because I am a pantser, sometimes this is difficult. I just want to jump into the and start the writing of the actual words. And so I think leaning into that process of actually working on the characters beforehand. Now my third goal is to actually lean into my writing process. Over the last year I've been kind of playing with some things and forgetting other things that I've learned about my writing process that have helped me significantly. So if you watched any of my NaNoWriMo diaries I will link that down below. I did them last year and this past year which is during November I vlog every day and share my process of writing 50,000 words. Over this process, over the process of writing 50,000 words for the past two years, I've kind of, I've learned certain things that I do and help me be productive. So one of them was super simple, like writing for 35 minutes instead of 30. I for some reason get so much more product productivity in those 35 minutes than just a 30 minute sprint, which is so insane to me, it's just five minutes but it improved my writing and my 
word count significantly and I had learned this previously and that I went and tried to force it into a different mold of just 30, 30 minutes because of something I was trying and it didn't work. I went back to the old way and it works way better. So sometimes relearning things about myself helps my writing process. I really want to lean into that joy and the process in the process this year. So working on really nailing down the stories that I really love and sharing them with others, yes, and of course recording the process here. That's why I made this YouTube channel. I really love sharing what my journey is and vlogging, so if you're interested in that, of course, subscribe. The joy of writing for me feels like this very um, childlike joy if that makes sense, this very naive, amazing feeling that washes over you when you get a story to the right place or you do a certain kind of process or you write a certain kind of scene. And I really want to lean into that this year and really make it an exciting, joyful process. And so that's one of my goals this year is to make it more joyful, lean into things that bring me that joy and that productivity. Now that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a writer, let me know what your 2023 goals are for your writing down below. I'd love to hear about them and I will see you guys next week with another video.